Everyone usually asks me why I've never switched from, from um, CRBN. I've been using CRBN since the beginning of my, um, my first paddle I bought was a Babylon paddle I bought on Amazon. Since then, I've been using, uh, for the past three years, I've been using CRBN. I've used the, my first paddle I got when I, when I started was the CRBN, the CRBN 1 paddle, which is a control paddle. Um, it, if you're a tennis player like me, you could still generate enough power with, with, with the CRBN um, 1 paddle, even if it's a control paddle. So, um, but if you want to develop a soft game, which is what I think everybody should try to develop when they just start playing pickleball, I would choose the CRBN 1 paddle. Um, very important for control. Um, less, my sacrifice a little power. Most players below 4, I think, should not be considering any paddle that deals with, with um, power. I see, I see right now everybody trending towards power paddle, but that's kind of destroying your game. So I'm telling you, if you follow one below, stay with a control paddle. My paddle of choice back then was CRBN1, and it, I still use it. I still use it a lot of times, especially when I'm working on my soft game. Best control paddle I've played with um, on the market. CRBN also came up um, last two years, I think, with the um, power series. We started with the Power Series 1, and then, so I tried this out. A little sacrifice on control a little bit. Great power. I, I'm a tennis player. I already, have my, I already have the mechanics to hit the ball hard, so I don't need power. So I, I transitioned to the Power Series 2. Very good paddle too. It's a little bit more control, a little more control than, than, than the Power Series 1. So, but then, um, right after that, they came up with the Power Series 3. So since then, I've been playing the Power Series 3. It has almost the same amount of control as the power, as the um, CRBN one with a little more pop. So um, it's considered a hybrid. Um, I think that's the best paddle for me on the market right now, only because I, I used it and I know it, I've gotten a lot of good results of it. Um, I haven't sacrificed anything. I have the power I need and I have absolutely, I have the control that, that, um, that I need. So uh, once again, to tell you the, the um, what I think you should do if you're, you're a beginner, for one above, I would go to the CRBN 1. If you're really trying to improve your game as you get better and better and better, with, um, you, your, control is on, your control is good, then you want to migrate a little bit to the power, seri uh, to the power series. If you're serious about it, I would go straight to the power series 3. CRBN 3 power series, 3 and 3X. This has a lot of control and the power that, that, that you're looking for. But again, if you are four on above, yes, I would, I, would, I would do that. I would pick one of those paddles, but I'll pick the, the power series M3. That would give you enough control and, and enough, enough power to play against almost anybody. Um, if you just want to bang the ball around and, and, and want to sacrifice some kind of, um, if you sacrifice some kind of um, control, and, but you think that you, you have enough control and then you want a little more power, and that's what that's kind of game you want to play, you could select to the Power Series 1X or the Power Series um, 2X. Both good paddles, um, too. Well, it just wasn't for me because of, of the way I'm trying to, to develop my game into a more control, control game. Since you have made it this far, I hope you enjoy this content. And if you do, please like this video subscribe to the channel leave a comment and let's get on and play better pickleball